I have a little girl and last Christmas she was two and a half years old and her favorite show was Dora the Explorer. If you're not familiar with kids shows, Dora the Explorer is a little girl named Dora, her best friend Boots, and the infamous Swiper the Fox. And Swiper is this little fox who comes into every show and he swipes something that's important and he always says, you're too late, you'll never find it now, and he runs away. Last Christmas, we were setting up our family nativity scene right here, which, um, by the way, this woman right here, she does not look like she just had a baby, but we can talk about that later. All right, so that's, uh, that's our Mary, and then here's our little baby Jesus, and my daughter Annie came in as we're setting up Christmas decorations. She picks up baby Jesus, and she says, you're too late. You'll never find him now, and she throws him in the air and literally runs out of the room down the hallway with the Christ child in her hand. And um, she was right. We didn't find baby Jesus until February. Uh, the girl went and hid it in her bedroom in her treasure box. And it wasn't until Valentine's Day when we were putting Valentine's away that, that we finally found the baby Lord Jesus. And it turned into a disaster because there were actually moments where she was in tears. And I was like, find Jesus! And, um, you know, she she didn't know where she put him. And I, I think back to this a lot. I've thought about it a lot all year because how often I do exactly what she does. Uh, she got so excited about this little baby Jesus and then she runs away and swipes him and then she puts it in the most special thing that she owns, her treasure box. And, uh, and to me, that, that's so much of the story of Mary that we find in Luke chapter 2 where she's just she's treasuring and pondering all the things in her heart that she sees in Jesus that she loves and you know, my little girl picking up for Jesus, putting it in the treasure box. But then, but then, unlike Mary, um, my daughter forgot where she put him. She couldn't find him. And it didn't matter how many boxes we went through, how many things we unwrapped in this house, we could not find baby Jesus anywhere. And, um, you know, I think about that sometimes because uh, Jesus means a lot to me. And I feel like I've spent a lot of time in my life treasuring the words of the Bible and the stories of Scripture and pondering them, putting them deep in my heart, hiding them in this treasure box within. The truth is, I, I get caught up in being a good mom and being a good wife and a daughter and a friend and going to church and, and doing my career, my job, and, and loving on people around me and laundry and dishes and taxi cab driver, you name it. And, and before I know it, I have um, I've forgotten where I put Jesus. This Christmas is, is all about the invitation for us, you and I, to be a part uh, of God's story, this beautiful story of sending a baby to earth. Um, how appalling it was to, to the people back then that this might be the king. Um, how courageous it was of Mary and Joseph, how brave they were, the wise men and, and the people who refused to give up the baby Jesus and King Herod. This story is full of lure and power and beauty and poetry and love and and it's meant to transform us and capture our hearts and invite us into the season and the truth is we've heard it and it's transformed us in the past before but we forget uh, somewhere in the midst of it we lose it it gets swiped from us and and we end up hiding the baby Jesus and so I invite you to join me and um, be reminded what this season's all about that that our prayer would be that the thing that we most love and most treasure, that sometimes most often gets lost, would be found, would be brought back to us. This is your invitation to dive into Luke chapter 1 and chapter 2, to soak in the words of beautiful Christmas songs like, What Child Is This?, and to let the Lord come back into you and restore the beauty and the joy of this story that so often gets lost on us. Merry Christmas.